Hi everyone, today I'm so excited to be making the very first recipe for the 1980s. Today we are using the Honey Bells cookbook and we are making a salmon bowl. This recipe is pretty simple and it calls for red salmon, cream cheese, snipped parsley, chopped pecans, horseradish, which is optional, lemon juice, onion, liquid smoke, and salt. To start, we are going to open and drain our can of salmon. Then the recipe says to remove all of the skin and bones from the salmon. I will remove the bones, but I'm going to leave the skin because my siblings really like it and I don't want to take the time to pick out the skin. To the salmon, I add all of the rest of your ingredients except for the pecans and the parsley. When I was about seven, I thought that salmon balls and cheese balls and just that idea, I thought it was so cool. And we didn't really make them at home just because we didn't, it wasn't something we really made. Um, that anytime anyone brought them to a potluck or Bible study, I would get so excited and I would make sure to get some because something about them, I think it was probably because we didn't make them at home, but they just seemed so brilliant and delicious. I'm like, who doesn't like dips? And I was like, you can make them sweet, you can make them savory, you can put salmon, or you can put turkey, or chicken, or cheese, or just, I don't know. I thought they were super cool. <laughs> Once those ingredients are combined, set the mixture in the fridge for several hours to warm up. After the salmon mixture has chilled for several hours, add in the chopped pecans and the parsley. Once the nuts and parsley combined form into a ball or log, I'm going to do it all since it's a salmon ball. Um, I have some saran wrap to help form this. It's a bit wet and sticky and I just don't feel like my hands dirty. <laughs> This also made a lot more than I was expecting. So uh, I accidentally misread the recipe. You're supposed to mix the parsley and nuts together, then roll your salmon ball in it. So I messed up a little bit, but it'll be fine. Um, this made a lot more than I was expecting, and it's not gonna fit on my plate that I have. So I'm just gonna put about half of it on here um, and try to shape it. For the sake of presentation, I did add some extra pecans to this one. Um, it made a lot, there's a lot more than this. So it's definitely enough for a party or something. Then serve with crackers. Um, the recipe above it was for another salmon ball. That's what kind of messed me up is I was actually starting to read that recipe. Um, but with that recipe, it also says that you can make, it was a very similar recipe, um, but it said that you can serve that one with bread or crackers. Um, or something else, I can't remember what the other suggestion was. So I'm sure this one would be very good with toast or bread as well. So I'm going to try this, so excited. It's very, it's very creamy and soft. The recipe said to chill it after forming for a few more hours, but I'm not going to. <laughs> mm.
This one is very good. You taste the horseradish and the liquid smoke right away. It has like an aftertaste of the parsley and salmon. And then the crunch from the concert is really nice. Um, I think I would have done a little bit less horseradish just because of the strong flavor of the liquid smoke and the horseradish. I feel like it's a little bit much, but this one is really good and I'm definitely gonna make this again. Um, I think this will be perfect for summer as well, um, but also for any like New Year's Eve party um, that you're having this winter. So highly recommend you making this. And um, real quick, I want to ask you to subscribe if you have not already. Uh, I had three goals at the beginning of this year. Um, for subscriber count 100 just because it would be nice to break 100 and I did um, The other one was 300 uh, Just because um, that one was kind of my backup That one's kind of my backup goal from 500 which meant I can make a new new post Well, they changed it to where you can now make a new post for having 500 subscribers But I still would like to hit that number before the end of the year if I could so if you are subscribed please invite a friend and share one of my videos that you enjoyed with them. Um, and if you are not subscribed and you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. I would be so glad to have you join us. Um, and as always, leave a comment letting me know if you tried this recipe or if you just want to chat. I The comments is probably one of my favorite things <laughs> about making these videos. I am a very talkative person. I love talking to people. When they comment, it makes me very happy. <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! To the salmon, add all the rest of your ingredients, except 